Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. And today's topic is uh, terrace tools or the stool color or changes in the stool color, changes in the texture and uh, changes in the stool form, you know. And before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and uh, share this video, you know. You know, the normal stool uh, usually is light to dark brown and uh, the changes in the stool color or the texture may be normal and most changes should be evaluated you know. and the symptoms associated with the stool color changes are the symptoms of the underlying cause of the change you know and the examples like foods or drinks and the illnesses like uh, diet bismuth, gallbladder diseases, a celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and uh, tumors, uh, diverticular disease, cancers, hemorrhoids. So these are the different diseases uh, which can cause the stool color change. You know? And uh, the changes in the stool color may be due to diarrhea, uh, bleeding in the intestines, uh, diseases of the intestines, liver, pancreas, and medications. So these are the common causes, you know. And uh, you know the green stool is a common stool color change, and it may be due to the bile pigment in the stool because of diarrhea, because the food moves too quickly through the intestines, so the intestinal chemicals and the bacteria cannot break down uh, the bile pigment. To its normal brown color you know or the green color may be due to certain foods like uh, green leafy vegetables and green food coloring you know and the red or the black colored stool may be a sign of bleeding in the GI tract which is known as gastrointestinal tract uh, it includes esophagus stomach small intestine and colon you know uh, and uh, it should not be ignored uh, if it happens, uh, you should consult your doctor for further evaluation, you know. And uh, when the stool color uh, changes, uh, the what tests need to be done depends on upon uh, what cause is suspected for the stool color change. You know. For example, a gastrointestinal endoscopy may be required to evaluate the red blood stools, you know. And the treatment uh, uh, it depends on the underlying cause. Thank you very much.